So hello everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to the session of government schemes. In this session, guys, I will bring to you another very very important scheme, which is called National Skill Development Mission. Guys, this scheme, I think you all know, that is very very important. And in it, many times questions have come in the exam, and we in future uh, we can expect more questions from this scheme. Okay, so let's begin with the session. But before we begin, if you are new here. You can subscribe to our channel and press this bell icon, and also you can join this Telegram group for daily quizzes and updated information about the daily sessions. Okay, so let's begin with the session, guys. And first of all, let us try to simplify the objective of the scheme. So, what the what, the name says it all here: National Skill Development Mission. So, national means that this scheme is at the national level. Okay, and skill development का मतलब क्या है? That we have to develop the skills of our अनस्किल्ड और द सेमी स्किल्ड वर्क फोर्स जो भी हमारी अनस्किल्ड या फिर सेमी स्किल्ड वर्क फोर्स है उनका हमें क्या करना है स्किल डेवलप करना है ताकि उनकी लाइवलीहुड को एनहांस किया जा सके और राइट सो आई होप गाइस द ऑब्जेक्टिव इज क्लियर इट्स वेरी इजी टू डिटरमाइन द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द स्कीम सो अंडर द स्कीम द गवर्नमेंट विल इंपार्ट स्किल्स टू द अनस्किल्ड और द सेमी स्किल्ड वर्क फोर्स देयर बाय एनहांसिंग देयर लाइवलीहुड ओके And do I have to tell you the ministry? So I think no. The ministry is clearly uh, determined. The Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. And can you tell me the name of Minister of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship? So write down in the comments his or her name and along with the Lok Sabha constituency. Okay. Moving on, let's talk about the institutional mechanism. So these are the things guys that you can do effortlessly. If you have to put any effort to get it, there is no need. We have done with the objective. We have done with the ministry. Ministers. का नाम मिनिस्टर का नाम आपको लिख के बताना है लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द इंस्टीट्यूशनल मैकेनिज्म सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देयर इज अ गवर्निंग काउंसिल व्हिच इज हेडेड बाय द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया सो दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट काउंसिल ऑफ दिस मिशन गवर्निंग काउंसिल इज हेडेड बाय द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया देन वी हैव स्टीयरिंग कमेटी व्हिच इज हेडेड बाय द मिनिस्टर फॉर स्किल डेवलपमेंट एंड एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप देन वी हैव मिशन डायरेक्टरेट व्हिच इज हेडेड बाय द सेक्रेटरी अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्किल डेवलपमेंट एंड एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप ओके and under this mission directorate we have national skill development agency corporation directorate general of training then we have state skill development missions so main institutional mechanism are these three that you have to remember this is uh, this is guys very important governing council which is headed by the prime minister then we have steering committee which is headed by the minister of skill development and entrepreneurship then we have the mission directorate which is headed by the secretary in the ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship all right Now let's talk about the functions of all these institutions. Now remember कि आपके ये सारे functions याद रखने की जरूरत नहीं है. Just remember the broad functions of these uh, institutions. First of all, we have governing council. So the basic objective, the basic function of the governing council is to provide the overall guidance and the guidelines about the implementation of the scheme. All right? इसका काम क्या है governing council का? It will provide the overall guidance and the guidelines or related to the scheme. Then we have steering committee whose function is to ensure the implementation of the guidelines that have been provided by the governing council okay iska kaam kya hai uh, implementation ko ensure karna un guidelines ka jinko governing council ne provide karaya hai and also they have one more function of setting the targets and approval of the annual mission plans all right then we have mission directorate whose objective is to implement the guidelines of the schemes that were provided by the गवर्निंग काउंसिल जो गवर्निंग काउंसिल ने गाइडलाइंस प्रोवाइड कराई है उनको इंप्लीमेंट करना एंड वन मोर इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन ऑफ दिस मिशन डायरेक्टरेट इज टू एलोकेट द रिसोर्सेस फॉर इंप्लीमेंटेशन टू ऑल द इंप्लीमेंटिंग एजेंसीज और द स्टेट्स ऑलराइट सो आई होप गाइस द फंक्शंस इज क्लियर सो जस्ट रिमेंबर द ब्रॉड फंक्शंस दैट इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एग्जाम दैट इज जस्ट फॉर द बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग कि ये जो इंस्टीट्यूशनल मैकेनिज्म में ये ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस है ये जो इंस्टीट्यूशंस है इनका काम क्या है So first of all we have governing council whose main function is to provide the overall guidelines then we have steering committee whose function is to ensure the implementation of the guidelines then we have mission directorate whose function is to implement the guidelines all right and now let's talk about guys the things that you have to remember so till now we have we are done with the objective the ministry and the uh, and the institutional mechanism and now let's talk about the things guys that you have to remember So it was launched in the year 2015 along with the Atal Pension Yojana. So Atal Pension Yojana के साथ 2015 में इसको लॉन्च किया गया है. So remember the launch year. And then uh, there are three important organizations. We have National Skill Development Agency, National Skill Development Corporation, and then we have National Skill Research Division. All of them are this are under this mission. 
So if you talk about this National Skill Development Agency, so it was registered under the Society Registration Act of 1860 and it was established in the year 2013. Those are the areas that were established. Its chairperson is the secretary in the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. Secretary in the Ministry of Skill Development uh, uh, and Entrepreneurship is the ex officio chairperson of National Skill Development Agency and its main function is to implement the National Skill Qualification Framework. Okay, there is a framework which is known as National Skill Qualifications Framework. Its main objective, its main mandate is to implement this framework. Okay, then we have National Skill Development Corporation. So, guys, it is registered under the Section 25 of the Companies Act of 1956. Section 25 of the Companies Act of 1956, and I hope. Section 25 के में आपको पता है, Section 25 corresponds to the Section A of Companies Act of 2013 and all the companies which are registered under the Section 8 of Companies Act 2013 are the not-for-profit companies. Similarly, any company which is registered under the Section 25 of Companies Act 1956 is the not-for-profit company. So, it is clear that this is a not-for-profit company and its mandate is to provide impetus to the skill development by providing funding. Okay, what it does, it provides funding to those organizations, to those institutions which are working for the skill development. All right, and Mr. A. N. Nair is the current chairperson of this National Skill Development Corporation. Mr. A. N. Nair. Then, if we talk about the National Skill Research Division, so it's can Nancy pata chal raha hai that this is for the uh, promotion of research in the skill space. Jo skills कि दुनिया है उसके उस दुनिया में रिसर्च को प्रमोट करने के लिए दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वाज एस्टैब्लिश्ड अंडर द नेशनल स्किल डेवलपमेंट एजेंसी दिस वाज अंडर द नेशनल स्किल डेवलपमेंट एजेंसी रिमेंबर दिस राइट सो आई होप गाइस दीस ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस आर क्लियर एंड नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द मिशन स्ट्रेटजी हाउ गवर्नमेंट विल प्रोवाइड हाउ गवर्नमेंट विल इंपार्ट द स्किल्स टू द अनस्किल्ड वर्कफोर्स किस तरीके से वो स्किल प्रोवाइड कराया जाएगा सो देयर आर सेवन सब मिशंस अंडर दिस मिशन सात सबमिशंस हैं इसके अंदर और उन सबमिशंस के थ्रू द स्किल्स विल बी द स्किल्स आर प्रोवाइडेड एंड इन फ्यूचर विल बी प्रोवाइडेड टू ऑल द अनस्किल्ड वर्कफोर्स सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस सबमिशंस सो वी हैव इंस्टीट्यूशनल ट्रेनिंग सो इंस्टीट्यूशनल ट्रेनिंग विल बी प्रोवाइडेड टू द अनस्किल्ड वर्कफोर्स देन वी हैव इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर सो वी हैव टू क्रिएट द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इफ वी वांट टू इंपार्ट स्किल्स अगर स्किल प्रोवाइड कराने के लिए हमारे पास इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर नहीं होगा लाइक हमारे पास आईटी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर नहीं होगा लाइक हमारे पास प्रॉपर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कनेक्शन नहीं होगा प्रॉपर बिल्डिंग्स नहीं होगी देन वी विल नॉट बी एबल टू प्रोवाइड द स्किल्स टू द अनस्किल्ड वर्कफोर्स देन कन्वर्जेंस सो देयर इज अ नीड टू कन्वर्ज ऑल द ऑल द स्टेक होल्डर्स फॉर डेवलपिंग फॉर डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द स्किल्स टू द इन द अनस्किल्ड वर्कफोर्स ओके सो टू इंश्योर कन्वर्जेंस एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन ऑफ स्किल डेवलपमेंट एफर्ट्स अक्रॉस मल्टीपल स्टेक होल्डर्स देन वी हैव ट्रेनर्स so guys to provide skill uh, we are uh, uh, we require trainers also hame trainers ki zarurat bhi padegi of course aur wo trainers bhi un trainers ko bhi hame kya karna padega train karna padega so we have to train the trainers also who are providing the uh, uh, who are providing the skill development classes to the unskilled workforce then we have overseas uh, overseas employment so is scheme ka ek objective ye bhi hai ki jo unskilled workforce hai ya jo semi skilled workforce hai once they acquire the skills then they are now able to get the job in the foreign countries. Okay, so foreign countries में job लगाने के लिए भी job लगाना इस scheme का एक you know provision है. Then we have sustainable livelihoods of course. अगर मेरे अंदर skill develop हुआ है तो मेरी जो livelihood है वो जरूर enhance होगी. If I am if I have developed a skill then of course my livelihood will be enhanced. Then we have leveraging public infrastructure. Public infrastructure का इस्तेमाल करते हुए हमें क्या करना है? स्किल को डेवलप करना है ऑफ ऑल द अनस्किल्ड एंड द सेमी स्किल्ड वर्कफोर्स इन आवर कंट्री ओके सो दीस आर द सेवन सबमिशंस आई होप गाइस द स्कीम इज क्लियर इससे ज्यादा आपको डिटेल में इस स्कीम के बारे में नहीं पढ़ना है अगर आपको कोई पढ़ा रहा है तो वो कोई मतलब नहीं है आपको सिर्फ इतना ही पढ़ना है इससे ज्यादा आपके एग्जाम में नहीं आएगा दैट्स मोर देन इनफ फॉर यू ओके एंड नाउ लेट मी समराइज समराइज द स्कीम नेशनल स्किल डेवलपमेंट मिशन एज द नेम सजेस्ट द स्कीम द मिशन इज फॉर प्रोवाइडिंग द स्किल्स to the semi skilled or the unskilled workforce in our country it was launched in 2015 under the ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship and if you talk about the institutional mechanism so there is a governing council there is a steering committee then we have a mission directorate governing council is headed by the prime minister steering committee is headed by the minister of skill development and entrepreneurship 
then we have uh, mission directorate which is headed by the ministry uh, secretary in the ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship all right then we have seven sub missions under the scheme through which the skills are imparted to the unskilled workforce then we have some organizations under this national skill development agency corporation and national skill research division okay so i hope guys the scheme is clear now let's talk about the questions that can be asked in your exam so who heads the governing council under the national skill development mission so as i told you this governing council is the very important organization under this mission which is headed by the prime minister of india option c prime minister will be the correct answer question number 2 is who is the current chairperson of national skill development corporation so nsdc current chairperson is mr am nayak while if you talk about the national skill development agency so that its chairperson is the secretary in the ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship okay when was the national skill development mission launched so launch year guys is 2015 along with that i mentioned yojana then we have question number 4 how many sub missions are there under this mission so there are overall seven sub missions through which the government is providing skills to the unskilled or the semi skilled workforce in our country okay so option a seven is the correct answer here and guys that's it for the session i hope ye scheme aapko clear hai and there are no doubts if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching milte hain kal ke session mein do nayi schemes ke sath tomorrow we are going to discuss about the janani suraksha yojana and janani shishu suraksha karyakram okay so thank you so much for watching goodbye take care and god bless